We can buy this vet clinic. We're buying this vet clinic. My girls are living their dreams. This is great. YouTube, my name is Cezor and welcome to the 100 baby challenge first ever kind of spin-off. This is gonna be a little spin-off of my 100 baby challenge series and I will do these little spin-offs from time to time, not for every single one of my children, but I really just want to explore different careers and things like that that I haven't actually explored in my gameplay before. So in this episode, I'm really excited to be starting a new adventure with our first two baby girls, Marley and Abby. They have just been aged up into young adults and what I want to do is really explore two different careers because Marley, our eldest, she wants to live in the city. That is her aspiration, but she's also a creative child and through that I used painting as her skill to gain skill to be able to age up. I want to explore the freelancer career because I haven't done that before and I want to do freelance painting specifically. I'm pretty sure you can do that. I may be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find out anyway. The thing with Abby is she is an animal lover. So I really want to take her down the path of being a vet, owning her own vet clinic and things like that. I've never done that before in my gameplay. So I want to explore that and all of the nuances of that. But first things first, we have to move them out of the Platt family household and into their own place. So here we are in the Platt family household. Everything's just ended, you know, people are going to sleep and stuff, but we've got to go into manage worlds We're gonna save and manage worlds. So to live up to Marley's aspiration We're gonna be moving them to San Myshuno because she wants to be a city native Her and her sister together are gonna have an apartment in the city It's just a matter of finding which apartment they're going to move into but first we've got to split the household up so little miss Marley and little Miss Abby are officially leaving the Platt family household. So here they are, that's it. They're out of the Platt family household. Let's move them into a lot. So we've got to pick an apartment. So obviously we cannot afford everything. We've got 22,000 simoleons as our starting funds. However, because this isn't actually a part of the proper 100 baby challenge, we can use money cheats if we want to, but I don't want to use money cheats to move into an apartment. I kind of just want to see what we can afford and go from there. Oh, but I kind of love the idea of like this being their apartment and then we can split like the two bedrooms that we have up the back here into one have it be one big bedroom for them both so i think that this is gonna be their apartment and 2b jasmine suites in the spice district the that district is that what it's called the spice market hell yeah let's leave it furnished for the minute but straight up i am gonna change the furnishings so let's get into their new apartment so here we are marley and abby in their new apartments kind of want to make this their own space though so let's get rid of some things that we don't need like straight up we do not need this second bedroom over here with kids furniture so we can get rid of all of that and we're actually going to just demolish this wall and so now we've got one big bedroom for our girls. I love how bright all of this is. Like I love the blue in the bathroom, the yellow out here, but I hate the pink with the yellow. So we're going to get rid of all of these cabinets and all of these benches. And we're going to make it a little bit nicer for our girls, honestly. I think the green benches go better with the yellow than the pink did. So that's a good start. What have we got going on in the bathroom for the minute, actually? Let's focus on that because straight away we're going to need a shower. Maybe we'll get one of those showers that has a bath in it. Like this one or this one. I kind of like this one because you get different little curtains on the bath. I think that is so cute. So we can pick a special little shower curtain for our girls. You know what? Maybe this one because this is nice and bright and colorful and that's kind of what the theme has been. Let's get back into the bedroom though because I want them both to have like a little bed for themselves because they are adult girls now. I still want it to be nice and bright and colorful though but maybe we'll go with one of these. 
I love that this kind of like matches the coloring that we have of the wallpaper. Let's get rid of this one and see if we can find another one that can go in here as well. Okay, I think we've found the one. We've got two different beds. They're both blue with some neutral tones in there. That's cute. And I think that totally works for our girls. We're going to get a little rug just to brighten this place up some more. Maybe one of these ones. Maybe this one. What do we think about this rug? like in between the beds just to make it a little bit more bright again I think that is super cute so let's head into the living room now let's have a look at couches that we have on display again I want something bright maybe this one because it's yellow and we've kind of got yellow going on over here I want to get a better TV while we've got some simoleons and I also want to get something cooler for it to sit on so I know that these are all coffee tables I love this one I think that's gonna be the one and then for TV let's go with that one there we go we've got a nice little flat screen TV that's gonna be like bigger and better than anything they've experienced for their entire lives because they've only had a tiny little squid for a TV so let's put a rug down there as well because I feel like the space is kind of big and empty looking Ooh, there we go I totally love that that is super cute a few moments later okay I think that's all I'm gonna do for the minute we've got a really cute looking little place here so let me just come down and show you what I've done to the place it's a little bit more homey feeling already just with what I've done so you walk in the front door and you've got a little study area with a computer and a bookcase super cute little plant in the corner over the other side we've got this really cute little couch with TV some plants on either side in a rug and then we swing it back around into the kitchen slash dining we've got this really cute little green and yellow happening and then we back it up into the bedroom so this bedroom it's all blues and neutrals it's just really pretty a nice little place for them to come and relax in their space they've got some candles the only thing I need to get now is I need to get an easel for Molly for her painting because she's gonna be freelance painter I haven't actually decorated the place with pictures or anything yet just because I kind of want to do that with some of Molly paintings maybe I don't know so let's get into starting our girls lives I'm beyond excited so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the apartment girls welcome to your new pad it's super cute I freaking adore it <laughs> but Molly let's get you a job because this apartment doesn't pay for itself even though you've got 46,000 simoleons but we'll get to that in a second Molly needs to find a job though so do that and I'm really, really intrigued to see what the freelancer career does, but what the freelancer career does for an artist specifically. So freelancer. Okay, digital, oh, digital artist. Huh. Maybe not then. I didn't realize it was a digital artist. Maybe we won't go with freelancer because it's not quite what I thought it was. You know what? Maybe we just won't even get a job for Molly at the moment. Maybe she can just make her paintings and sell them off and that's how we make her money so that's what's gonna be for for Marley so let's save and go to manage worlds for a second because I do want to buy a vet clinic for Abby and have her own her own vet clinic I know that there is already a vet clinic set up in where are we Brindleton Bay there is one already there, this one, Brindleton Porspital. I don't know if you can even like own that or not. I have no idea. But let's come in and have a look at it. Cause like I said, I've never done anything with the vet career before. I'm super intrigued to like try it out and see. I don't know what's involved at all. I've only seen some basics of it. This place is super cute. Like, hello, are you kidding me? Can I own this place? 79,000. Can I own this place? <laughs> it's so cute. Three different colored rooms. Yo, I love it. Let's see if we can own this Porspital, as it's called in Brindleton Bay. So we would need some more simoleons. So let's do another mother load in the cheat console there. Get another 50 grand. Abby, select an option, buy a vet clinic. We're gonna buy a vet clinic. Okay, so in Brindleton Bay, can we buy this vet clinic? We can buy this vet clinic? We're buying this vet clinic! Hell yes we are! Keep it furnished because yo, that- Oh my god, I'm actually so excited! Abby's gonna live her dreams! Oh my god, Abby! Look at your place! 
face. Oh my god. So we are probably just going to transfer that $10,000 to the vet clinic because there's zero dollars with it at the moment. Oh my god. So owning and running a vet clinic is hard work. Pets are like family to a lot of sims and they're trusting you to take good care of their sick furry friend. Be sure to hire skilled employees, manage your clinic properly and level up your vet skill to succeed. Let's come in and take a look at our vet clinic now that it, like we're up and close. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Obviously, Abby's not going to be able to run this place on her own. I have in this game before run my own retail business. I have done that, but I've never done a vet clinic. And also, when I have done a retail business, I never actually hired any employees. I just did it all on my own. I'm going to have to hire some employees. So let's see which sims are available for employing. So Supriya Delgado, she's got some vet skill already. I feel like we're probably going to hire her. Welcome, Supriya to the hospital. Abby has hired a new vet. Supriya Delgado will arrive for a first shift as soon as possible. Be sure to track Supriya's skills in the manage employees window. I love that this has like a little staff room as well. Locked door for everyone but employees because that's going to be a staff only room. My god, this place is so cute. I just looked at it with the walls up. How adorable is this? Are you seeing this little half wall with this cute little doggo picture of them playing Jenga? Like, what is happening here? I need to know. I need to know who won that game. I want this doggo with the monocle to win that game. Yo, look at our little aquarium. We can purchase, let's purchase fish for our aquarium. Let's fully stock it. Hell yeah, look at that. Look at all those fishies in the aquarium. Let's get a fishy for this one as well. Um, let's go with a guppy because it sounds like a cool name. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Look at that fish. That's like a mermaid fish. Let's just open for the day. Oh, I forgot that she has an actual job. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to like quit that job. <laughs> quit that job and then we can open the hospital. Let's open for business. Hell yeah. The Brindleton Hospital is open for business. And here is our employee. He's Supriya. That is exciting. Let's change you into your vet uniform. So while we're waiting for someone to come in, work on your, your veterinarian skill. Abby, get some of that skill up so that you'll be able to appropriately treat someone. Oh, here comes someone with Doc who is an elder kitty cat. Oh my God, Supriya, where are you going? Where are you going, Supriya? I'm kind of happy to let Supriya take the lead on this one if she wants to, because she's very clearly got more veterinarian skill than me. So if you want to take the lead on that one, Supriya, while I'm just earning some more veterinarian skill, you can if you like. You're not taking the lead, radio. I'm going to take the lead then. Let's, let's greet the patient. I'm not sure what's going on with Doc, but it's not good. Do you think you can help? I'm gonna give it my very best shot, honey. I promise you. Hello, Doc. I'm sorry you're not feeling great. Jump up on the exam table and we'll fix you all up, I promise. So, straight away, I'm gonna just calm him down a little bit because he's a little bit skittish. It's okay, Doc. I'm gonna take good care of you, honey. I promise. Let's listen to his heart. I think that's a good place to start. Who's a good boy, Doc? Who's a good Doc? Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to see. Thank you. So he's he's got rainbow poop. Radio. That's 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 interesting. I don't know what to do with that. We're going to maybe we'll we'll do a skin slash fur inspection. Maybe if he's got rainbow poop happening, that maybe we'll be able to see some of that rainbow poop on his skin or fur. I don't know what where that train of thought's going. I don't know. He's also got a rapid heartbeat, so we're gonna just calm him down again. It's okay, dog. It's okay. It's okay, dog. And we're gonna listen to his breathing as the last thing. I think. Okay, so we listen to his breathing. Oh, we've got another patient that Supriya has just taken on. We've got a diagnosis. He has prismatic poop plague. That is not good. Let's treat with a biscuit with medicine X. Let's do that. Let's make you feel better, Doc. You're going to enjoy this little biscuit. He's a good boy, Doc. Yay! Cured sickness. Abby has completed examining and treating Doc. He should be feeling much better now. Yes! Thank you so much for coming into the hospital. I'm so glad that Doc is feeling better. We've got another patient though. Let's not greet him impatiently though. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god. Maybe you just need to take a minute 
to play a game because you are very low in fun and we do not want to be greeting patients impatiently. That is not how we do. Who do we have out here that's not feeling quite a hundred percent? We've got another little doggo. Rosie just hasn't been acting like herself. I think something may be wrong. Can you please take a look? Of course I can. Come on in, Rosie. I want to have a look at your mouth because you got some things going on there, honey, and I need to know what that is. So Looks like Sapria treated the other doggo over there. That did not get us any results, did it? Oh, uncontrollable drooling. Okay, well, we're going to do a skin and fur inspection as well, just because we can clearly see that there's some smelliness happening. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we'll hopefully find out. Mild repugnitis. So we're going to treat that with a parasite killer spray. Let's spray that doggo. You're a good girl, Rosie. Who's a good girl, Rosie? You're a good girl, Rosie. Abby has completed examining and treating Rosie. So Sapria's over here. She's treating Noodle. Noodle looks like a cutie. Hello, Noodle. We've got another patient. Let's go and greet the patient. Bubbles. Let's go see what we can do for Bubbles. My dog Bubbles has been doing well, but it's time for her checkup. How yes, Bubbles, come on in. You're so cute. I love your big ears, Bubbles. We're going to listen to heart because this is just a checkup. So we're just making sure that everything's good. We're going to listen to breathing, a mouth examine. Sapria, so if you could please grab this other patient that is waiting in the waiting room, that would be fantastic. Thank you, Sapria, because I'm busy with another doggo, Sapria. Please do your job, Sapria. Please do your job, Sapria. So let's do an eye exam. Make sure that the doggo can see all of the things. Oh, can definitely see that treat. Alrighty, clear eyes. This doggo is a healthy doggo, but we're gonna give Bubbles a preventative shot just to make sure. We don't want anything going wrong. There's a good Bubbles. Sapri is apparently not greeting the next patient, so it looks like Abby's gonna have to greet the next patient. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, sir, but what can I do for you today? Whopper! Whopper means the world to me and has been feeling awful lately. Whatever you can do to help will be greatly appreciated. Let's get Whopper in on my table and have a look. Come on, Whopper. Oh, Whopper. Oh, honey, I can see that you're not okay, Whopper. You look like a sad papa. Straight away, I'm gonna do a skin and fur inspection because you're blue and I'm not sure that you're supposed to be blue, honey. Oh my god, Whopper is breaking my heart. Icy fur and low temperature. Well, I, yep, definitely that's a thing. Let's just take your temperature anyway, see if we can get any more from that. Who's a good Whopper? The calmest boy, Whopper. There we go, overly moist skin. He has icebox fever. So we're gonna administer an antiviral payload shot to make to make Whopper feel better. Here we go, Whopper! There's Whopper! Look at how cute you are! Oh, that's a good boy! That's a good Whopper! Look, I think we're gonna disallow new customers for the day as well. I think what we've got here is probably gonna be the last customer. So we're gonna greet that patient. Something is wrong with my little boy, Rudy. Won't you please help him? Of course, Rudy, come with me, honey. Last patient of the day. Hello, Rudy. Oh, I'm gonna be having a look at your mouth. I can see straight away. Oh, he's just been sick. Poor Rudy. He's also got a very high temperature. So I'm gonna take his temperature. Maybe we can get the last symptom that we need for diagnosis from that. We can, uncontrollable drooling, which means he has swamp mouth. We're gonna do an essence of placebo treat for Rudy, make him feel better. There we go. Abby has completed examining and treating Rudy. Alrighty, that is it. We are gonna close the Brindleton Hospital. Treatments, we got 875 simoleons from the treatments. Wages owed, we owed 90 simoleons. Net profit of 785. We served seven customers today. We were open for nine hours. Our growth opportunities are quality of service. Try increasing the quality of your supplies or administering more accurate treatments. Well, I was pretty damn accurate every time, so I don't know what they mean with that. But anyway, an ambience. Try cleaning up your clinic or adding better furnishings. But our excellent is wait time. Your vet clinic has very short wait times, which are great for those customers needing urgent care. That's fantastic. We're gonna transfer 610 simoleons over to 
into the household funds. That's going to be our profits for the day. Fantastic. I think I'm going to keep Abby here though for just a little bit longer. We're going to make some swamp water taffy and then we're going to try putting it in the vending machine fridge to see if that's something that maybe we could sell to get some extra money. There we go. Did you create? You did. So if we open that, chuck that in there. Oh, I wonder if, if we'll have people be able to buy things from that then next time we open. I don't know. But let's go home, Abby. That was a fantastic first day in the vet career. Oh my god. I cannot believe we own our own vet clinic. We've just done a full day. It was amazing. Hello, Marley. How are you? You're good. I'm glad. Maybe you can cook some dinner because you've been home all day. So let's, I mean, you could make some garden salad. Let's, let's do that. Make some garden salad. So tomorrow I think we're going to give Abby the day off. I kind of want to take it in turns between the girls and we're going to focus on Marley. Maybe we'll focus on her aspiration because we know that she's going to be a painter she's going to make money from painting but let's focus on her aspiration which is something i don't do very often in my general gameplay actually is focus on their aspiration so we're going to introduce herself to someone new in three different city neighborhoods give one apartment key to a friend and order three times from food stalls we can do that that's what the plan for tomorrow is going to be okay what is happening oh i know exactly what's happening one of our neighbors is being very noisy all right, Marley, come and get your big bossy pants on. Pound on the door because it's 10 past 10 at night. No, this is not happening. We do not make such loud noise at 10 past 10 at night. Pound on that door, Marley. Get angry. I mean, music sounds all right, actually, but still. Hello, Aaron. Aaron, I'm going to complain angrily about the noise that you're making. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Thanks for letting us know, good neighbor. That is fine. I would like to have a friendly introduction with you now, though. Okay, he's gone, but that's fine. Girls are asleep. That was such a great first day. I can't believe that literally on the first day they moved into their new apartment and Abby went and bought a vet clinic and had her first full day as a veterinarian. That was so cool. The next morning let's just wait for your sister to finish eating and then maybe we'll go on the town let's actually let's just go let's just go let's see what we can do in the little town square here who do we have here so we've got to meet someone in three different city neighborhoods so if we introduce ourselves to someone here then we can go to different neighborhoods and meet someone else i'm seeing all these people but for some reason she's just not wanting to come and meet them what about akira why don't you come down here can we meet you i would like to meet you please we've met someone new hey let's chat let's get to know each other he's pretty cool oh bye okay well now we're gonna travel to a different city neighborhood and see if we can meet someone else new Let's head over to the arts quarter because I feel like this is really where Marley would want to be. So let's go. Oh, hey, this person is someone we could have hired for the vet clinic. So let's let's introduce ourselves to Alice Martin. I would love to become friends with her. Let's become friends with Alice. Let's heartfelt compliment. Let's brighten day. Let's tell a funny story. Let's um, enthuse about cats. We've met someone else new. Yes, we got two out of three. That's fantastic. Making friends in the city. Our girl Molly is a big city girl. She left. Alice, where'd you go? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're gonna move on to the next quarter. Maybe, should we go fashion district or uptown? Let's just go fashion district because I feel like uptown's a little bit intimidating. So maybe we can get something to eat from one of the food stalls here as well. That'll be pretty cool. Is Alice at the fashion district? Did she, she left us to go and play violin at the fashion district. There's not really anyone around here at the moment. It's kind of weird. This lovely food stall has just opened. So let's order some food. Oh, we can get some ramen. It looks like Marley's having trouble with those chopsticks. She should eat more chopstick foods like ramen to develop that finger dexterity. Well, I'd probably suck at chopsticks too, so... Oh, that lovely lady just opened the food stall just for us. That was so nice of her to do that. 
We've found someone else new in this area. Let's introduce ourselves to Marky. Hello, Marky. We've introduced ourselves to three people in three different neighborhoods. Oh, hey, is that Akira? Akira is here too. All of the people that I've introduced myself to have turned up here. Marley has taken her first steps on her culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try some more food. Come and say hello to Akira. Talk about the cloudy weather, maybe tell an unbelievable story, like really just knock his socks off, get to know him. I feel like if we can get Akira to the point of being friends where we can give him our apartment key, then maybe we could start a relationship between him and Molly. I'm kind of digging it. I kind of ship it. They're so cute together already. Like, are you seeing this? Like, there's not even a single thing that's romantic that they're doing. But hell yeah, I'm about it. Why is she, like, tense? Oh, stranger danger from loner trait. Oh, she's a loner. I forgot about that. That's This is, like, the worst thing for her ever. But he's not a stranger. You're about to become friends with him. And then I promise you will feel 110% better. He's a romantic sim. Are you kidding me? It's like these two are just meant to be. I swear to God. We can give him an apartment key. Hell yes. Hell yes. Do that thing. She gave Akira an apartment key. That is so cool. So now we've just got to order food from two different food stalls. We've got an American food stand. If I wanted American food, I could have done that back at the fashion district. Let's order a hot dog. Maybe after this, we'll go back to the spice market and see what food we can get from there. We've got a different uh, food stall here, this this spice one. I'm assuming that's going to be curries and things when that opens, so we can hang out for that. Marley, order food. Let's order a curry. It's a milestone complete. She's completed tourist of the city native aspiration. Okay, so she's got to achieve level three in the singing skill, light fireworks at the humor and hijinks festival and use a bubble blower. That's fantastic. What a different range of things that are needed. We're totally going to be inviting Akira to the humor and hijinks festival when that happens, by the way, it's going to be kind of like a date night, but not a date. And then maybe we'll go home and we can get started on the singing skill. Oh, there is Akira. Bye Akira. I'm going to be hanging out with you sometime. Don't worry. We're going to hang out at the humor and hijinks festival. Is that, when does that happen? We can read about it. So hold on from Monday from 5 till 11. It's literally 4.59 now. This is about to happen. We are going to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival with Akira. We're going to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I didn't think that this was gonna happen so soon. I didn't know that that festival just happened to be tonight. The Pranksters and Jokesters challenge has begun. Drink from either the dark or light tea to join a side to start. We're just gonna say hello to Akira though. And then, I don't know, I've never actually done festival. I kind of want to take a drink from the light side Let's join the jokesters together. I'm happy that Akira came with us though. This is so good. Maybe we can sit and try the bubble blower together. We're going to make this a really fun night for Akira. Where is Akira? I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. He's with us. He's drinking tea. Fantastic. Marley has joined the jokesters. Perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. I'm actually probably not going to do that. I don't know why I've drunk this tea because I'm actually just here to use the bubble blower and light some fireworks with Akira. Let's just do this first. Have Take a try of the bubble blower first. Here we go. She's tried it now. He's not really about it. The jokesters are in the lead by five. How yes we are. Truly attribute that to me doing all of these interactions. Okay, so now that we've kind of done that, I kind of want to light some fireworks. How do I light some fireworks? How do I do that? How do I do the thing? How do I light the fireworks? How is that a thing that we do? Light fuses on fireworks or light sparklers three times. Can I do that? It says light fireworks at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. And now, like, it won't let me light the fireworks. Why can I not light the fireworks? The jokesters are in the lead by five. Yep, I'm, I'm still doing all the hard work, I feel. I still don't know why I can't light the fireworks. Maybe I have to wait until the end of the festival. Maybe there's specific fireworks that you get to light later on. I don't know. The jokesters win. All jokesters have received a comedy mic, fireworks, and 500 simoleons. Hell yes. Marley's about to light this firework. Look at all these fireworks. This is so freaking cool. 
I mentioned that I freaking love San Myshuno. It's such a great place. We've had a great night with Akira, but we're gonna go home now because we're pretty dang tired. Alrighty, guys, let's go to sleep. That was such a good day again. I'm like so happy at the moment with my girls. My girls are living their dreams. This is great. Both girls are now asleep. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave this episode of this 100 Baby Challenge spin-off. I'm like having a blast with this already and I can't wait to explore more of Marley's aspiration and explore more of the veterinarian skill for Abby. I hope that you've enjoyed this as well. If you would like to see any more of my 100 Baby Challenge videos, past or future, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it as well to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you think about maybe be Akira and Marley getting together because I kind of dig it honestly I'm really into that and also let me know what you think of this 100 baby spin-off but guys I hope you're having just the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video bye